Dear Vance, this is a letter to you from another time, a better time, one that you weren't always able to see. Your life isn't what anyone would describe as easy. Teenage parents, not a high school diploma between them. Three kids, and then your dad left. It's a moment that will stay with you and it will change the course of your life in so many ways. It will crush your mom. Depression and chronic illnesses will consume her. She won't be able to work. There will be nights that you'll go to bed hungry and your mom will try to fill in the void left by a broken heart by marrying other men, men who also ultimately leave. Her pain is real and you will feel it. But you have a resilience that emerges in you, even at the age of eight. You won't know what it is at such a young age, but it's an inner fire, a drive that will set you on a different, unexpected path. You and your brother will mow lawns for a few dollars a yard to put food on the table. You will recognize the generosity of ladies from church who bring food and gifts. Your gratitude for these gestures is a daily reminder to keep moving forward. It would be too easy to be mired in the circumstances of a tough situation. Innately, you know that. And while every time you see your dad, you'll ask yourself if it was something you did that made him leave. You'll also know that others' decisions can't define the man that you will become. So you'll take the anger that burns from that single life's question, from your mother's struggles, and from their life's choices, and you'll use it to change the course of your own life. Trust me, you don't see it now, but even as you read this, I feel emotions fueling your drive. Your tears welling up. Don't let the anger consume you, Vance. Use it on the football field. Turn it into a positive. Learn from that discipline. Stay healthy. Learn teamwork. Embrace the opportunity to be a part of a group that lifts you up, challenges you to be better than you think you can be, and catches you when you falter. Use it to show the people in your life a kindness that you did not always know as a child. Use it to recognize the sacrifice your grandparents made as they took you into their home and use it to say yes. To say yes when your guidance counselor and vice principal put an application in front of you. It will change your world. You'll go to college, you will. I know, I know. You have no idea how you'd ever find a way to pay for it now. But there are people out there, people with incredible hearts and selfless souls who want to help. The application they make you fill out because they believe in your potential, it will introduce you to these generous people. You'll become a Horatio Alger Scholar. Foots Clements, the CEO of the Dr. Pepper Corporation will present it to you himself. And maybe for the first time, as he looks into your eyes, you'll begin to see what you once could not. You'll start to recognize the man that others know you can be. You'll commit to something bigger than yourself and you'll take that borrowed jacket that doesn't much fit and you'll head to Chicago. And there, Mr. Clements will give you a marble ball. See it in your hand and you'll read the words inscribed, the golden rule. Honor those words, Vance. Give the gift of dignity and respect to others as you grow, because from that day on, you will meet people and go places you never dreamed. University of Texas, the core, wedding altar, the delivery room, the world. You'll see the world, Vance. With Julie and your three kids, you will see the world. You'll fly. As a Marine Harrier pilot, and with the Royal Air Force as a Tornado F-3 pilot, you'll command a Harrier squadron and have amazing experiences that will prepare you to invest in others. You'll fly high. You'll make Colonel. You'll command the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit. And you'll serve as a Marine Military Assistant to the Secretary of the Navy. This is where life will take you, I promise. Take the blessings to heart of those who will come into your life at different moments when you most need it. 
and show you kindness and generosity and courage. Take Julie, the love of your life, and know the presence of her in your life will help you become the man she deserves, the man you were called to be. Embrace every opportunity as a gift that gives hope to the powerless, that gives dignity to the fighters, and respect that empowers people in your life to flourish. Be strong, Vance. Be bold. Be decent and helpful, and be humble too. Take time to reflect. Look at your wake. Encourage and invest in the success of those who will follow. That's what matters. That's success. Between where you are and where I am, there will be adversity and battles, tough ones. There are givers and takers, and you side with the givers every time. Because I'm here to tell you that one day, you'll see things more clearly. One day, you can use these struggles to help others. If you keep standing up, standing tall, one day you'll stand in front of others and you'll share the honor of having always endeavored to do the right and honorable thing.